Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to make an anti-inflammatory, anti-aging, CBD infused facial oil. This is number three in a series of CBD infused formulas that I'm bringing to you, so I really hope you enjoy today's video. In this video today, I'm gonna to be going over my step-by-step -step visual process and tutorial of how to put together this beautiful anti-aging oil. And we're also gonna be talking about why I'm using the specific ingredients that I'm using, the different oil properties, and how to use the CBD appropriately in a formula like this, what type to use. And don't forget to check out my other two videos where I take a little bit more of a deep dive into the CBD isolate that I'm using. I'll go ahead and link my other two CBD formula videos down below for you. Um, I hope you are enjoying this very interesting series. If you are, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. If you would like the full written recipe with percentages, amounts, and a full step-by-step -step tutorial of how to put together this facial oil, please head on over to my Patreon campaign where you can find this formula along with my other CBD formulas and hundreds more at just the $5 level. I'll go ahead and place the link to my campaign in the description box below and I hope you'll join us over there. In addition to the $5 tier, there are four other tiers for you to take a look at and take advantage of, each with their own unique benefits. Literally hundreds of formulas and tutorials for you to take advantage of in the skincare, hair care, candle making, soap making areas. I hope you'll go check it out. We have a community now of almost 3,000 makers and it's just been a great way to connect with you, a great way to connect with me. I really hope you'll go check it out. All right, let's make some anti-aging, anti-inflammatory facial oil. All right, so first things first, you wanna make sure your whole area that you're gonna be working on is cleaned and sanitized. This includes any uh, supplies or materials that might be coming into contact with your raw materials and your finished product. We are making a cosmetic, so we just wanna make sure we're not introducing any germs or bacteria to your product. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and start weighing out the oils. This is a completely anhydrous formula, meaning we are not adding any water, it's oil-based, and so we will not be using a preservative either. It's fairly natural, and it's got a ton of great anti-inflammatory and anti-aging ingredients in it. And it's very easy to put together. A facial oil is really a personal preference thing. So you really just need to know about your oil properties and then decide about which amounts of each oil work best for you. So we're gonna start out by weighing off some fractionated coconut oil. I'm using fractionated coconut oil in this formula for a couple different reasons. Now, fractionated coconut oil it makes a very effective and lightweight moisturizer for your face and your hair and your lips. It's very quickly absorbed into your skin. It leaves it feeling hydrated, but not so greasy. Also, there's a lot of antioxidants in fractionated coconut oil. It's great for its hydrating properties. So I just have this little jug I got from um, Formulator Sample Shop, although you can get fractionated coconut oil from any soap or cosmetic supplier. These little jugs can be kind of hard to pour from. All right. Now, the fractionated coconut oil that I just put in here also really, really helps CBD to absorb into your system. I am using fractionated coconut oil here at the least percentage of all the oils that I'm gonna be using because the other oils that I'm bringing in are a little bit more nutrient dense for the face. So the next oil we're gonna be putting in is some meadow foam seed oil. Meadow foam seed oil, I got this at Nature's Garden. Meadow foam seed oil has really good skin softening properties. It also has real good skin benefits, helping to reduce the appearance of stretch marks and scars, fine lines. It's anti-aging because it also helps reduce the appearance of wrinkles. It helps you look more rejuvenated and energized. And it's a very lightweight oil, easily absorbed into the skin, much like the fractionated coconut oil. This is just a bit more, um, nutritionally dense and it also is a more expensive oil. So we're using this one 
Next, there we go. The next oil we're going to be adding in is some squalane oil. Squalane oil is absolutely amazing for its anti-aging and anti-inflammatory properties. This oil is going to be a very luxurious oil and hopefully an effective oil for people to use on their skin. Squalane oil is known for its oil balancing, so it balances oil production. Um, it provides moisture to the skin in a balanced way. It helps supposedly to keep the skin clear and healthy, although that is anecdotal. You'll have to try it for yourself and see if that does work for you. You can't make any claims, but it's linked to also its powerful anti-aging properties and supposedly it helps the skin age gracefully and has many anti-inflammatory benefits to help the skin with you know conditions like acne and eczema redness so squalane is a very very good facial oil again you cannot go around saying that these oils do anything for your skin this is just something you'll have to try for yourself and see if it works all of these oils along with the cbd that we're going to be adding in are linked to skin benefits and health benefits but be very careful about making claims about your products you cannot say that they do certain things or that they cure conditions or ailments we're using the squalane at the highest rate in this recipe, the highest percentage, is going to be the squalane. All right. Now, the next thing I'm going to be adding in is something called isopropyl myristate. Isopropyl myristate is really good for its emollient properties. It is an ester of isopropyl alcohol and myristic acid it's a fatty acid that naturally occurs in coconut and palm oils it's a very lightweight emollient it can be used like a carrier oil but what i really like about the isopropyl myristate is that it helps the oil in this formula or any formula that has maybe a greasier feel to it it helps it to feel less greasy and a little more dry now we're already using lots of oils that are great um, at their fast absorption rate into the skin. This is just going to help it a little bit more along the way. Um, the skin feel of this oil is going to feel very lightweight and quickly absorbed into the skin. However, you can go um, a little overboard and add too much to your skin. In that case, it will feel a bit greasy. But if you're adding a little bit to your skin, um, this, this ingredient here is going to help really to... Um, just help the oil feel a little drier but also give it some emolliency and some great skin feel so we're going to go ahead and add this in i got this one at lotion crafter all right Now, at this point, I'm going to give my oil a bit of a stir just to make sure all the oils are incorporated before the next step. And get that ice purple mirror state all mixed in. There we go. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and add in some vitamin E oil. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set this aside while I weigh off the rest of the ingredients here. So I'm using a little scale because the amounts that I'm weighing off here are very small and this scale is more accurate for smaller weight and I'm using a little half of a bath bomb container here or mold. I, I find this easy to get ingredients out of completely so I like to use it. And so what we're going to be putting in here is a little bit of vitamin E oil. 
Now vitamin E oil we're adding in for its antioxidant property, but also it is helpful in extending the shelf life of your oils. It's not a preservative, but it does help to extend the shelf life of your oils. So we're gonna go ahead and add this in. Okay, and then we're gonna be adding in some essential oils. Now, I tend to be very conservative with the use of my essential oils just to make sure that we are uh, not using too much. Essential oils are so potent, so it's very important that you, you know, I'm conservative, meaning I probably use less than a lot of people use. Um, I think a little bit goes a long way and you don't need a whole lot. So the first one we're going to be using is blue tansy oil. Blue tansy oil is very well known for its anti-inflammatory properties, very strong anti-inflammatory properties. It also creates a little bit of a blue hue. Depending on how much you use, you can go to a really dark blue. Um, in this case, it's going to be a lighter blue. So we're just going to put in some blue tansy oil. This is also a very expensive oil to use. So this is a luxury type. This is a luxury type product that I'm making. These will be going on my website if anyone's interested in purchasing them. Um, in a department store, I find that facial oils, even with ingredients that are far less luxurious than what I'm adding here, are very expensive so this is going to be probably less than a retailer but still on the higher end price wise all right now next we're going to go ahead and add in some tea tree oil tea tree oil is very well known for skin and facial use and helping to reduce redness acne inflammation um, Again, I'm very conservative in my use of these oils. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and add our oils into the batch here. I'm going to give it a little bit of a stir just to get my just to get my vitamin E oil picked up off the bottom of that mold and kind of incorporated because it's more viscous. Okay, now once I pour this in, this formula is gonna change to a blue color, which I also like, because blue is associated with a um, kind of a cooling effect. Again, just going along with that anti-inflammatory theme we have going on. And then we're gonna give it a good stir and get it all mixed in. And we have a beautiful blue hue. This is absolutely gorgeous. And then the last thing I'm gonna do Let's go ahead and add in my CBD. Now, CBD is very well known for its powerful anti-inflammatory properties. The CBD that I'm using here today is the same one that I've used in my other two videos. It is the CBD isolate. It's 100% CBD isolate powder. That means it's not broad spectrum. It doesn't contain any THC or any other terpenes. It's just pure CBD. And I talk a lot in my other video, especially in my um, my CBD salve video, about issues with selling your products with CBD. Make sure you do your research. Not all credit card companies process. Not all credit card companies will support the sale of CBD, so you won't be able to get your payments processed or your customers won't be able to get their payments processed. Um, so, 
that is an issue and also some web hosts don't support it and you have to get special insurance if you want to sell it so those are just some of the the hoops you have to jump through if you'd like to sell products with your CBD in it um, this again has no THC or any other terpenes in it it's just pure CBD isolate uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link also in the description box for you regarding where you can get some CBD isolate powder this is fat soluble or oil soluble meaning it won't dissolve in water but it does dissolve in oil based products so you're just going to stir this up until everything is dissolved and incorporated all right all that cbd isolate powder is now dissolved it does take some time to get it all dissolved just keep stirring it will get there um, when you're making a formula that's totally cold processed like this meaning you're applying no heat to it it does take a little bit longer for that cbd isolate powder to dissolve but it does eventually dissolve so we're just going to go into the next step here of pouring and packaging up our oil i'm using these little one ounce dropper bottles and as you can see the blue is a bit lighter once it goes into the bottles and i just think it's the most gorgeous color blue so beautiful So each one of these bottles is going to contain approximately a thousand milligrams of CBD. Of course, that's per bottle. So when you put it on your skin in little drops, you're getting a fraction of that. So how much you put on your skin um, depends on you and your liking. Perfect. So this is a 10 ounce formula and it fills 10 one ounce little bo dropper bottles. We're just gonna go ahead and cap that off. I think they look so pretty. All right, so the last little thing I want to do here is show you kind of what this looks like on the skin. It's a very fast absorbing facial oil. I'm just going to put a few drops on my arm here. Just to kind of show you, it just rubs in super easily and a little goes, goes a long way. And it just feels a little drier to the touch and not as heavy as a lot of facial oils, but also silky and emollient. So it doesn't drag across the skin. It's got a really nice skin feel.
All right, everybody, that's how you make a beautiful CBD infused facial oil. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Please leave some comments and questions below. I hope you learned something today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video with a friend. All right, everybody, catch you on the next video. Bye, keep shining.